Hello. Well, now that I'm done talking about Star Wars, uh, at least for a while, I want to talk about a film I saw uh, like last month. Yes, last month. Um, it is... Oh, it's, it's Rocket Man, starring Taron Edgerton uh, as Elton John. Bryce Dallas Howard uh, plays his mother, uh, and I, I actually did, I didn't look on the back of the DVD or the Blu-ray box to see, but her name is there. Um, but I did not see, I, I didn't know she was in this film, uh, and she does not have her red hair. It's dyed. It's like uh, brown, it appeared to be. Yes, on the back. Yes, it looks brown. Um, and I just did not notice that it was Bryce Dallas Howard. Uh, um, I will say uh, the acting was really good. Um, the film itself is very good. It's a very entertaining movie. Um, it's not entirely factual. They did take moments from Elton John's life, but Elton John wasn't somebody who ever wanted his life to be made into a movie. But because of how they depicted uh, the events of his life in this film, he was happy because it's more of a fantasticalized version. So it's like a, I don't know if I would call it a semi-biography of Elton John's life, but there are moments here and there that are based on reality. You know, he, he did go to rehab. He did, like, like you know, overdose and all that. Um, and so there are moments that are based in reality, though perhaps how the, they, those moments that did happen um, happened in real life or in reenacting in the film... I'm not sure they they did it. Pro they were probably like they made it more fantastical is what I'm trying to say, and they did a very good job uh, of the film. So while it might not be a hundred percent accurate, uh, it succeeds in uh, being a good film. You know, it's a very entertaining film, and um, I would not mind to see Taron. Edgerton to get nominated for an Academy Award for his performance because he was incredible. Nor for the Golden Globe for actor in a musical or a comedy. And honestly, I think uh, I would like to see him win uh, actor in a musical at the Golden Globes. Um, you know, you not, can't necessarily predict those thing, those sort of award shows because sometimes they're very unpredictable. Like the Oscars, just when you think you know who's going to win, like if there's a track record of winning awards, sometimes the Academy likes to pull out uh, like a dark horse or somebody who you thought maybe at one point had a chance, but when you they narrowed the competition down and they're nominated, it's like, oh, they don't have a chance to win, but then who knows? Um, uh, I, I would say uh, Edgerton is in the realm of winning, uh, p potentially. There is Joaquin Phoenix for Joker, and he was really good in that film. Um, you know, Robert Pattinson and um, um, you know, uh, yeah, uh, The Lighthouse, which I talked about uh, last month. Ford versus Ferrari with Christian Bale and Matt Damon. I have not seen that film yet. Um, I would like to see it. Um, I don't know when I will be able to, but you know, you never know. Um, uh, things like that. But uh, yeah, I I really enjoyed this film, and also I think Bra Bryce Dallas Howard could get nominated for supporting actress at the Academy Awards and other award shows. Um, I don't know if she would win. I haven't really looked too much at the 
supporting categories a whole lot. Usually it's lead, uh, then later on. I don't know why it is for me, but that's just how I am when one talks about awards and I look look at the leads first and then the supporting second. Uh, but this was a very good, a very good film. Uh, one of my favorite films of the year. I wouldn't say it's my favorite of the whole year, but it is a very good film. Um, you know, I, I'm not talking a whole lot about it because while one might be very well versed in the life of Elton John, if you have not seen it, well, some of those events might not happen in this film, or if they do happen, not then the way you might think, because again, it's very fantastical, so be sure to keep that in mind. That's very important, I think, because if one's a hardcore Elton John fan, they go into this film hoping and wanting to see a very good, accurate uh, biopic with, or biopic, of um, Elton John. I don't know if this would be it for you, be the one for you. Um, was he a producer on the film? I, I want to say yes. I want to say yes, he was an executive producer. I thought he was. Usually, films like this, they usually are like uh, producers in some way. Um, and, he, and he did a very good, and, and the film was very good, and obviously he approved of the film. Uh, so while one could critique the film for not being historically accurate at all, uh, for certain moments, uh, like for one thing, like they kind of make the dad like the villain in a way, when that's not necessarily the case. Now, I don't know a whole lot about his upbringing, um, but um, uh, the one key thing is his father, Elton John's father, is the one who got him into piano and to play the piano and encouraged him to do it. Uh, in the film, it's really the opposite. He doesn't have much interest in his son. He is just like, you know, he's there, but he's just not entirely, I guess, interested in being involved with his son much. Um, so, that aspect, you know, you could say, well, they just took liberties and kind of Hollywoodized it, I guess one could say, just made it like something that Hollywood would do. You know, maybe there was moments where, you know, Elton John's father maybe should have been more involved in his life than he was. I don't, I'm not saying that for sure, because again, I'm not an expert or I'm not somebody who, uh, you know, uh, researches Elton John a lot. I mean, I do enjoy his music. I think his music is very good. Uh, I grew up listening to Elton John and, and others, a uh, variety of music, honestly. And, uh, <sighs> excuse me. Um, but, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a very, uh, it's a very good film. Um, yeah, it, it's it's just it's very entertaining and I think that's very important you know many films some films try to push a message try to push a narrative try to be really artsy and stuff like that and when films do that uh, a good deal of them aren't good because they're too preachy in what they're trying to do be it push a message or a narrative or an agenda of some sort or if they're trying to be really artsy they're so artsy it, it really just it, unless you're really into artsy films you, you you can't really enjoy it there's nothing for you to enjoy sometimes with super artsy films um excuse me but for this, this has just been entertainment. It's very good entertainment. It's a fine movie. Um, again, entertaining. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, 
if you like Elton John and his music, um, give it a watch. And even if you're somebody who knows quite a bit about him and you haven't seen it yet, give it a watch anyway. Um, at the very least, uh, hopefully you'll think it's enjoyable, think it's entertaining also, regardless of how historically accurate it is. But then again, keep in mind, Elton John did approve of the film. He was an executive producer, so he was involved in some way. Um, so keep that in mind. It was made the way it was for a, for a particular reason. Like, Elton John just doesn't, like, I guess, want his whole life story out there on the screen for everybody to see in a theater and then later on their TVs. Um, and I can get that. Sometimes things happen in one's life that's quite private, that maybe it should always be private and not common knowledge. Even to hardcore fans of some people, maybe there's certain things that should just always be private and never revealed to the public. Um, just for maybe, maybe something's just embarrassing for them. And I'm not saying there's anything Elton John has in his life that's embarrassing you would not want people to know. But you never know. Maybe there is something. Um, and that's fine, you know, be, be, you know, he's quite open about his life quite a bit, uh, but he's also fairly private, a fairly private guy, and many people are private, uh, want to keep their private lives private, and that's very understandable. Um, but him allowing, uh, like, a story of his life to be on film, to be seen by millions of people, and, uh, by his fans and others who might just be interested in seeing a movie uh, with music and all that. You know, it could be, it's it's just fun. It's a very good film. It's fun. I think that's a good uh, description of it. Maybe I'm wrong. Perhaps if you've seen the movie, you might disagree and might think it isn't fun. It isn't good. Or maybe you think it was just, meh. Like fine performances, but maybe that's it. Maybe the way they integrated the music and the singing, it was good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but anyway, uh, if you just want to watch a film that's quite entertaining, I'd say give this a watch. Give it a try. See if you like it. If so, great. But if not, that's fine too. Um, again, some films aren't for everybody. But I think this is a fine movie. It is rated R. Some say this is what Bohemian Rhapsody should have been, should have been more into some of the more darker aspects of, like, say, like Freddie Mercury's life and, and that of Queen, perhaps, but they never did it. And some think they kind of wimped out on that end. Um, and there is, a, I guess you could have a discussion of that, um, is, you know, fair enough. Um, thought Bohemian Rhapsody was a Fun film, fine film. Uh, Remy Malik did a, gave a a very good performance as um, Freddie Mercury. Taron Edgerton did a great job as Elton John. Um, some people have compared the two films. I don't know if I would, but that's just me. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, if you have seen the movie. Do you like it, or do you not like it? Um, do you want to see it? Um, regardless, um, yeah. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, and, uh, yeah. I hope you all have a good day, have a good weekend, and have a good week. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.